The flyers are similar to the ones that surfaced in 2016 on people's cars. The new ones, which contain messages against interracial couples along with some Bible verses, have been left at people's homes. Priya Mann reports from Trenton tonight where police want everyone to know this isn't something they'll tolerate. This quiet area is a mix of homes and townhouses, and Trenton police have been patrolling the neighborhood since that offensive letter was found, and the deputy chief is not mincing words. This individual, whoever it is, is, is just a coward. Don't sneak around in the dark of night and place these things on people's lawns. I can't even begin to imagine what would get someone to think this way, but it's, it's disgusting. On Sunday, a woman walked out of her home and discovered a Ziploc bag left on her lawn. It was weighted down with a rock. Inside was a hate-filled flyer against interracial relationships and quoting the Bible. It had some, some pretty disturbing, uh, I guess you could call it hate speech. Unfortunately, it's not the first time it's happened in this Trenton neighborhood. Back in 2016, a hate group left similar flyers on people's cars. It was just a bunch of commotion around the neighborhood. You know, everyone's talking about it, you know, bringing it up in front of mixed kids is like, you know, just kind of crazy. Michael's mom is white and his dad is black. His family lived here when it happened the first time. He says there's no place for bigotry or hate in Trenton or anywhere else for that matter. That made me a little bit, you know, shook me up a little bit. It's just disgusting. You know, it's not what what the police department stands for. It's not what the vast majority of our residents here in Trenton stand for. The woman who discovered the flyer believes she was targeted. Trenton police are looking into whether it's connected to the flyers that were distributed four years ago. If anybody has video surveillance, you know, through through a surveillance camera on the side of their house through the front of their house, uh, that would be helpful as well. Trenton police are actively investigating and asking anyone with information to give them a call. In Trenton, I'm Priya Mab, Local 4. All right, Priya, meantime, State Senator Stephanie Chang released a statement reading, in part, our words and our actions have a lasting impact on people. The Downriver community is a beautifully diverse one whose families have always stood alongside each other not against one another. I condemn the instigators of this reprehensible action and hope they are brought to justice.